So now our next speaker is Rohit Garg, Vice President from RRG Go Creative Epic. Rohit Garg is a techno-functional banker who began his career in corporate and investment banking with Citibank. He manages a number of financial services teams in his current role as Vice President at RRG. He regularly shares his thoughts on the impact of automation on the financial services industry as a speaker and uh, he'll speak about injecting intelligence into my RPA bot. So over to you, Mr. Rohit. Thanks, Maninder. Uh, thanks, Kedar, for the wonderful presentation. So I come from a business side. Uh, I'm not a bot developer. I do not manage the bots. Uh, like basically majority of the people are doing it across. So I'm going to share my perspective about RPA. How do we get intelligence into the bots? Uh, first of all, majority of the people have a thought process that, that robots are coming soon. They are going to replace our jobs and they are getting more intelligent day by day. One day we will end up into a situation uh, where, 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 where they will learn it so much and then we will end up have only to do mundane job like basically like basically this guy who is cleaning the floor. Uh, is it happening too soon? Mm, we don't know. So if you look at uh, RPA coming as a te basically terminator, so this is the slide which has been shared in the singularity uh, slides. If you see University of Singularity said human intelligence uh, while it is continue to grow, but but machine intelligence is going to grow much, much faster. And then we will reach to an influx point uh, very soon, because if you look at the timelines, timelines are very close, uh, where, where, where machine intelligence will overtake uh, human intelligence and we will be only workers. Majority of the intelligent tasks will be done by machines. So when, when basically these things happen, uh, uh, panic get created. Uh, and, and first thing which basically panic get created by is by consultancy firms. If you see in 2014, Gartner published a report saying that forget about new jobs, one third of the current jobs will be replaced by bots. KPMG 2015, they said, uh, all BPO jobs will be killed around in next 10 years. Uh, HFS said that same 30% job cut by 2021 that has gone past. Uh, we continue to see increase. McKinsey said 50% of the jobs will go by 2030. And, and World Bank said that automation is going to kill about 70% of the jobs. Now, while 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 you while while they these consulting company mentioned that bots are coming or robots are coming, but who's going to save it? Who's going to do it? So then comes RPA as a companies. They said, okay, we have a product which can do end-to-end -end automation. We have a digital force. You don't require a coding. You don't require a BPO. And when they go to business, they said you can implement it in weeks. You will get ROI in three months. You don't have to depend on IT and business can own it. Yes. So now if, if you look at it between 2014 and 16, uh, consult, same consulting com companies, we say that something is coming. Then they said, no, RPA is coming. Uh, KPMG said RPA will cut a cost by 50 to 75 percent. Deloitte said 30 to 60 percent. PW said 30 to 80 percent. Uh, ENY said 50 to 70 percent, and then Gartner said 90 percent of 96 percent of the companies which got an RPA are getting benefit from it. So this is my own creation of a slide. Majority of the people may not be aware uh, that 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 the leading company called Automation Anywhere used to make uh, software call it testing anywhere. So they are so their company used to be called Testing Anywhere. So this was a testing software uh, and it got rebranded in 2021. Many people in Automation Anywhere are not even aware of it. 
2012 uh, blue blue prism got launched 2013 blue prism got featured in gartner uh 2015 till 2016 we saw the various uh, messages which is going across ai uh 2017 blue prism got listed and immediately became a unicorn uh and the same year automation launched their iq bot which was supposed to be very intelligent uh next year ui pass suddenly came into a picture and both UI path and automation anywhere became unicorn. Uh, if you look at the valuation perspective, UI path last funding valuation was at $35 billion, but they're currently trading at $16 billion market cap. Automation anywhere is not listed. Uh, they are at 6.8 billion um, valuation. Bleep, Blue Prism was at three billion dollar now they've been bought by another company this is a british company and now they've been delisted uh the other misconception is what is actually bots so being myself uh, also in mechanical engineer i thought about best to compare with the industrial bots that's what we know uh so if you look at majority of robots are actually fitted in assembly lines uh, if you you can watch across tesla videos or basically production companies videos where where basically robots are doing fitting welding painting jobs similarly if you want to think about it these bots will do uh, a, they will perform a transaction uh, now before you implement this bot the function needs to be repeatable and it requires an accuracy same applies over here uh, as basically robots moves in 2D or 3D space, these are virtual, they move it in 2D space. Uh, action needs to be done in a sequence. So you have to perform a task in a sequence. You cannot miss a step. So same way happens for desktop bots. Uh, before you do, you perform this task, you need to put a standard process. You need to standardize your process. Same applies over here. Uh, now, you can put an intelligence to robot by putting various sensor, vision, heat, proximity, and, and same applies over here. You can put a pattern recognition, language, NLP to add more intelligence. So this is just a comparison between industrial robots and then RPA bots and how they get an intelligence. We all know top threes, automation anywhere, UI path, and blue prism. Uh, but there are others too, uh, Antwerp, Crayons, uh, Win Automation, Work Fusion, and the latest uh, and, and most astonishing entry is from Microsoft Power Automate. Uh, in case you don't want to buy any of these, there are open source platform also. The reason is I have Mm, I have listed Selenium is because you will see a lot of features which you actually do it in in RPA bots could be done in directly by basically testing software itself. And if you recollect my previous mm, PPT, uh, Automation Anywhere started as a testing company, as a testing anywhere. Now, where do we implement a bots? So, to implement a bot, uh, I consider you look at uh, heat maps. Your process needs to be more straightforward. Your decisioning making needs to be more rule based. Uh, your volume should be high. Your process maturity should be more matured. And your software should not require too much of changes. And your data needs to be structured. So, how do you? put that into a layman languages. If you can put your process into Visio, if your decision is if then else ruled, if your volumes are high, uh, based on my experience, uh, you should do minimum about a 50 transaction a day uh, to, to basically justify a bot. Uh, you should have established operating procedure. You should not change too much of UI interface and you can put your structure a data into a tabular format. Now, I, I, I'll be again and again talking about intelligence. If you see the image, 
on the top is actually a human vision and 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 on the bottom it is a computer vision and this is the finest end of technology which is available right point of time now if if i ask an audience uh, which vision they will prefer it's their choice but but basically i will prefer a top version so while machines are gaining intelligence but not at, at an anticipated space as of now what you see at the bottom image is is the intelligence which machines have gained across and 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 you need to set up a realistic automation goals like say if you consider this is an hyper automation hyper automation is whatever you have reached at the bottom uh now what has happened in over a period of time lot of companies uh have been their their process have been oversold to them uh like basically they buy a software uh assuming they will especially rpa software it will do everything but normally that's not the case rpa is not a key for all automation there are very less on ex expertise people do two weeks of courses and claim themselves to be you know uh, rpa experts you underestimate a process uh, you try to implement it on a process which cannot be rpa uh, and and if you look at three grids of softwares which i showed you across like one is an enterprise version one is a little cheaper version and third was the uh, open source platform if you try to implement everything on an enterprise version you need to look at cost benefit analysis because all of this enterprise version solution as as per my experience will cost you minimum $30000 per annum as a recurring fees including licensing cost and support cost uh if you implement it more on a citrix uh then basically rpa recognize that an image and if you see look at the previous uh, kedar's um, presentation even even e even mainframe comes as a images uh who is driving it it needs to be clear whether business will own it it will own it while the rp company will say business will own it it will say they will own it and then you have a process improvement team or process excellence team who is owned it who is going to have a bot ids what privilege they will have uh, basically just to give you a recent trend now this same consulting company has started doing an audit for bot ids because we tend to give them more privilege what they what is normally required so they become a super user which can be a little dangerous uh we saw it in previous presentation present implementation it not so simple it takes a uh, good amount of time while rp company can say 2 to 3 weeks end to end implementation but it but a real good use case will take about minimum i think about 3 uh, months and it can go to 3 to 12 months and when you look at roi you have to look at overall cost of ownership number of license license uh, no one not only because lot of time these companies will only give you license cost but there are other costs associated to it there is a development cost there is a support cost there is also an inf it infrastructure cost so i found this uh, study by deloitte very interesting if so basically these are the vendors so sorry these are the companies which have actually implemented an rp and they asked them to rate their what they achieved uh if your cost reduction is the only criteria then basically you are into number 7 number 6 in the list normally rpa if you implement an rpa it improves more compliance improves your more accuracy it it ensures more availability of resources or which are digital resources increase your productivity flexibility to scale up and down uh, if you are only looking at a cost probably you are into top basically only 10% which you are thinking about it and 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 same thing is getting now reflected with the same consulting companies come now the same consulting companies are coming up with the logic about you are burnt with the bots uh, 50 50% of the projects are failing 
uh, Deloitte said that 80% of the companies have not scaled, who have bought the softwares have not scaled beyond 10 bots. Uh, Forbes says hype is over and HFS says it has died and now they are projecting hyper automation. So I'm going to show you a demo how we achieve it, how, how we make it realistic. So this is the discover tool which has been internally developed in RRD uh, where it helps you to capture a process manual and do a mining. While, while there are mining software, I'll just show you how it works across. So, so I've, I've, I've asked the team to create a very simple demo in which you uh, uh, create a process manual. Uh, you go to a company search and you download a report, a PDF report. That's all. I've just put two steps so that it becomes a little so that I can concide everything in two minutes itself. Let's see how it works. Maybe I need to put this in to hold on. I maybe I need to put this into. Yeah. So you log into discovery tool and then you do a company search. So this is the actual process which has been done. You go to filing history. Uh, you have to download a certain report. Let's assume you need to download a con 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 confirmation settlement report uh, in, a, in a PDF format. So let's assume this is a simple process. So this is running at a background uh, in your software. And if you want a standard operating procedure, uh, while it has been run, you just submit it, which kind of template do you require? And you have SOP pre-formatted, documented available with you with the screenshots with every steps which you have done it across. Now, if you want to uh, hide something, if you see uh, the company name has been uh, hidden. And if you want to do a study, which, which process is taking, how much time, uh, you you do it for multiple steps and you put it into an estimated analysis, it will tell you um, what is the AST, average handling time. Now, if you need to create a training video, that is also available um, with the click off button. Uh, with every steps which you have done, it is available in a movie format. Uh, with very less manual step required. Yeah, so this is a just short demo of how in RRD we do process mapping, manual mining, or basically whatever you call it. Uh, we we do it for, for, for external clients. We do one, one process mining for free. And for rest, we basically charge it across. Now let's look at some of the case studies. Uh, not, not, not every time we we implement a process, we, we there is a uh, there is a uh, FTE reduction. So first first process I want to talk about is an aging process. So this is a typical uh, aging report um, where we do it for in-house. Uh, shared services we we get uh, aging analysis from three three different system sap green mountain technology mercury gate why we have three different system this is legacy we will not be able to change it across so we take it over there uh, put it into rpa bots things which used to take couple of days now it takes half a day uh, and it's a month end process or it's a every 15 days process uh, which used to take two days, now it is taking a less than four hours. Practically, there is no reduction in FT because human resources are same, but it helps us in, in improving in aging. Now, the second process, uh, 
already has their own logistics business so where we get a shipping information we once once we know the proof of delivery once the once once this has been delivered across we take that uh, delivery merge it into invoice and send it to customers what it does is it moves it into an assisted bot it can run it at basically at its background uh, in a 30 member team we saw that by by implementing these bots we were able to reduce it to 6 fts now in a larger process where we have more than 100 people working up over here it uh, we do a lot of financial data extraction so we receive images uh, in basically tiff format these are scanned images which which is uh, which are available to us uh, through our own scanning engine we basically down uh, we convert them into pdf then then run an ocr uh, we clean the output by using a javascript we found it that being more useful than using any other software uh, then we look at how much it could be automated we found that 40% uh, of the process will still go through a manual process uh, and we and in 100 FTs we were able to reduce it to 30 FTs so mm, just a word of advice uh, which software to choose your choice it becomes a dart game analysis because every company is claiming the same uh, but if you want to choose an honest partner you can choose rd or a similar partner here are my coordinates roid.garg at rd.com and 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 how we how we approach a RPA is we don't only use an RPA we call it a service delivery automation we use multiple players we use third party vendors uh, third party technologies uh, we have implemented 63 bots for 20 clients and 40 bots are in pipeline that's all from my side back to you Maninder in case people have any questions thank you rohit so you may ask your queries in this session uh, rohit i have a one question like you mentioned you are reading uh, your the uh, images you converting into pdf and you are reading the data using the abby so uh, so on how how you are uh, confirming that the data read from the abby is uh, is 100% correct or you have any threshold like uh, the if it is above 90% then it is for process further something like that or human interface in between so yeah so what we do is uh, we we um, if you look at it after doing an abby while basically we we we, we zeroed it on, on abby we found it more accurate uh, compared to other tools uh, we we run if you recollect in my presentation we introduce something called a javascript where we run a automated check based on spelling check errors so that that javascript will qualify whether that conversion is perfect or not like basically i is not represented as one one is not represented as i uh, o is not represented as zero so based on that check we determine how much data which we can rely on it uh, if you recollect 40% uh, of the data is not reliable so that goes through a manual process so that particular step of javascript check uh, gives us an accuracy percentage from which data to use which data not to use hope that helps yeah, got it thank you so i guess there aren't any questions no issues. Oh, it was a wonderful session. Thank you so much for your time, Rohit.